Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into the fascinating world, of proteins and amino acids. I hope you have fun learning with me. Stay tuned. And get ready to uncover the secrets of these biological superheroes, that keeps our bodies running smoothly. Let's start with a basic definition of proteins. Proteins are macromolecules made from many building blocks known as amino acids. Proteins are mainly used for cellular growth and repair in the body. There are 20 different types of amino acids that cells use to make proteins. They all share a common molecular structure, as shown. All amino acids consist of a central C atom bonded to an hydrogen atom, an amino group, a carboxyl group, and a side chain or residual group. We have seen the structure of an amino acid, and we highlighted that there are 20 different amino acids used to make proteins, but have you ever wondered if these amino acids can interact with each other well? Amino acids can bond with each other during condensation, also known as dehydration synthesis reactions, which simply means the loss of water. The linkages formed are strong covalent bonds called peptide bonds. When this happens the OH group of the carboxyl group of one amino acid, joins with the H atom of the amino group of another amino acid, thereby forming a water molecule. Observe the diagram. Do you understand what is taking place? As we delve deeper into the realm of amino acids and peptide bonds, one might ponder, what transformations occur when these molecular allies unite in the shaping of the very essence of proteins. When many amino acids are linked by peptide bonds, the chains are called, a polypeptide. These chains eventually come together to form structures of protein as shown. And that's a wrap for today folks. Thanks for tuning in.